Hi, I'm Dr. Haley Perlis, sport and performance psychology expert, here with today's mental toughest moment. I want to talk about stress because stress is a good thing. Being uncomfortable, pushing your limits, uh, feeling pain, now not suffering pain, but you know, functional, uncomfortable pain, it is good for us. We want to challenge ourselves and endure stress. When stress Stress becomes bad when it's not followed by recovery, because in recovery, that's when we renew and rebuild and we grow and we um, just build strength for us to go and stress again. So really, it's not that stress is a bad thing, but when it's not followed by recovery, that's when it gets bad. So for example, I'm going to share a story with you. I was recently at my family's lake house and I went for um, a few stand-up paddle boards. And the first two were really just nice and relaxing. Wasn't I mean, sure I'm standing on the paddle board, so I'm using my functional strength and definitely using, you know, my, my upper body strength to paddle, but the water was calm, there was not a lot of wind. And then the third morning I went out and it was super, super windy to the point where you almost I felt like I was almost not going anywhere. And it was certainly taking me well, it took me four times, um, the amount of minutes to get where I wanted to go as opposed to the day before. So it was definitely stressful for me. It was challenging. And I remember thinking to myself that this isn't going to be fun, that um, you know I don't even know if I'm going to make it. So I was doubting myself because the wind was so powerful. My board was turning because um, the waves were coming at it as well. And I gave myself my own athlete consultation and I said, well, here's a mental block and stress. And I've got two options. I can change the situation and eliminate the stress and just turn around and go home. Or I can see if I can change the way I look at the situation, but in that moment, I really wasn't gonna buy the fact that it wasn't windy. I wasn't gonna buy the fact that it wasn't gonna be challenging and stressful. So instead of changing the, the story, I went to my third um, option, which is just accepting the fact that I'm going to be in a little bit of discomfort, a little bit of pain, a little bit of stress for, you know, probably, I think it was, you know, 40 minutes, and I accepted it, and then I literally paddled through it, and I knew also that as soon as I hit my mark, the end of this little, um, uh, little bay that I was in, as soon as I turned around, then it would be recovery and renewal, because just, you know, all I had to do was keep myself on my course with my paddle, but the wind and the waves were going to take me home super breezy, um, that would be my recovery. So I used this stress recover, stress recover, stress recover um, to allow me to persevere, to allow me to get the job done instead of quitting, instead of being upset throughout the whole thing. I accepted it. I faced it head on and I said to stress, bring it on, let's do this because I know I'm then going to be able to recover. So for you, anytime you're taking on a challenge or anytime you get confronted with a stressful situation, See if you can embrace it. See if you can, um, you know, accept it, lean into it, paddle through it, and then make sure that if you're not, if it's not going to come automatically, make sure that you create an opportunity for you to renew and recover. So in other words, in whatever stressful situation you're in, you're going to stress on purpose, and then you're going to recover, renew on purpose. Stress is good. We need stress to grow. We are no longer just survival, just a survival species. We were, but we're no longer. Now we want opportunity. Now we want to thrive as humans. And to do that, we need, we need stress. So stress on purpose, it's good for you, as long as it's followed by purposeful recovery. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do. Leave them in the space provided. And until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day.